An 87-year-old Wangaratta man has become the first Australian to survive a stroke with no side effects. He was diagnosed and treated by a remote with new telestroke technology, which doctors hope will revolutionise the way rural hospitals manage patients. At 87, Leo Jewell is computer savvy, but little did he know the latest computer technology would save his life. Oh, well, it's, it's out of this world, really. Leo suffered a turn at his home in country Victoria and was rushed to the local hospital with numbness in his arms, legs and his tongue. We did a, a very short assessment and got him a CAT scan of his brain. With no neurologist on duty, the new telestroke technology was activated, beaming a brain scan to the Royal Melbourne Hospital for diagnosis. And this allows a neurologist to uh, see the patient uh, take the history and also examine the scans. From 400 kilometres away, Associate Professor Bernard Yan determined Mr Jewell had suffered a stroke and prescribed the clot-busting medication TPA. By the next morning, Leo's symptoms were gone. I woke up on Sunday morning and I thought, now I'll have to try the voice. And I tried it and it was OK and I knew I was back. Stroke victims must receive an anti-clotting treatment within four and a half hours to avoid permanent brain damage or death. The Royal Melbourne Hospital's new telestroke technology has almost certainly saved Mr Jewell's life. Had he been forced to endure a three-hour trip to Melbourne by ambulance, the outcome could have been very different. So this case was our first successful use of... Uh, applying the technology and in saving the patient. This is the first in Australia. Karen O'Sullivan, 7 News.